hi lovelies welcome back to my channel so today's gonna be a smoky eye look on the stunning Janet. her skin is just flawless i'm gonna start off with the skin prep as usual i'm gonna be cleansing with my garnier micellar cleansing water just to prep the skin it has like a clean even base Then I proceeded to use the Dio Lash Glue on the eyebrow and now I'm kind of using my Morphe spoolie to kind of put the brows in place. I'm going to proceed to moisturizing. I'm going to be using my Embrali cream. I'm going to be using that all over the face. This will serve as my moisturizer and this will serve as my primer for today. It's really a nice cream Embrali. It's really highly concentrated and it just glides in nicely with the skin. All products used today will be in the description bar below. So I'm just using my DH Cosmetics brush, I believe, and this is the foundation brush. I'm just using, using this to glide on the moisturizer all through the skin. Like I said, this is set, this will serve as my primer as well. And then I'm going in with my brow pencil. This is my Benefits brow pencil in number five. Benefits precisely my brow pencil. This is in the shade five and I'm just kind of outlining the brow and um, making sure I fill in the sparse places. And now I'm going in with my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And I'm using that in the middle part of the brow just to highly kind of uh, highlight the brow and just shaping it to make it very clean. And then I went in with the foundation shade, the Too Faced Foundation in Chai. And I'm using that in the front of the brow and at the end of the brow. So it glides on nicely and blends with the foundation. And now I'm going in with a blending brush, a small eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm blending out the concealer under the eyes. I'm just tapping it in and blending it so it gives a very nice seamless look. Now I've got the eyebrow done, I'm going to proceed to the eyeshadow application. I'm going to start by using my eyeshadow base. That's the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Zero Rumor O. I'm going to be blending that out with a blending brush. So I'm just tapping that in and just making sure it blends really nicely. Then I'm going to be using the Secret Cena palette. So the P. Louise Secret Cena palette, that shade over there, like a blue grainy kind of shade. That's the shade I'm using and I'm going to be using that on the lid. I'm just going to use a blending brush and just tap that on the mobile lid, literally all through the lid because I'm trying to do a nice smoky look today. Okay, so that's all through on the lead. I'm gonna go in with that color there in the same palette, the Secret Sena palette from P. Louise. I'm gonna tap that on the top of the lead and try to blend it. So first I'll just tap it on and then I'll start blending. First I'll do like a nice round circular motion. But right now I'm just tapping it into the lead. Just make sure it's there. And then I'm gonna get another brush and start blending it like so okay so I'm using my Morphe brush this brush came in a set so it doesn't have a name just a pointed round brush and then I took in another brush as well and I continued the blending process and I'm just doing like small circular motion just to make sure I get a nice transition between the two colors. So 
I'll go back in with that dark color and just put back in the color that I may have lost in my blending process. I'll just continue putting more just to make sure it's really because I want that color to really be the main color and I need it to be there. So I'm putting back the color that may have been lost in the blending process. I'll go in a bit darker with this color here and I'll darken up the crease and just blend that even more. And then I'll go in with a clean blending brush and just try to blend and even up the blend. Just so everything is seamless. And that's about it for the eye look. I'm going to clean off the fallout from the eyes. Just clean it up with my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water just to make sure there is no um, colours over there. And then I'm going to proceed to apply my Amber Lace Cream again just to make this, I'm literally cleaning up the cream I've applied um, with the fallout. So I'm going to go back in to pull the cream in there because you don't want to apply foundation without a very nice base. So I'm going to use a face and body highlighter from Christy Collections. I'm going to use that on the high points of our cheekbones and the places where I want the light to hit. So the cheekbones, the cupid bow area, I'm going to do the nose, the center of the nose, a bit on the forehead, just to you know give a very, a very nice glow look to the face. I'll blend that out. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Bond This Way Foundation in the shade Shy. This is the new foundation from Too Faced. And I'm also going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N9. So I'll put the Too Faced foundation in the shade Shy and the center of the face because the center of the face is slightly lighter. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match on the side of the face, just like so. So I'll use the brush, the same brush I used there. I'm applying the moisturizer and the primer. I'm going to use that same brush to apply the foundation on and I'm proceeding to using my Root Techniques brush. This is the contour brush and I'll use that all over to blend it, blend the foundation in place. I'm also going to be going in with my sponge. This is the Root Techniques sponge. The sponge is damp. I'm going to be using this to further blend out the foundation because I really want a nice, smooth, seamless and blend. So this is me going in with dark shade L'Oreal True Match in M9 on the outer perimeter of the face and I'm going to blend this as well. I'm going to use this to contour the nose as well just to, like this is kind of going to act as my contour today. Okay, so I'm going to still use that foundation, the L'Oreal True Match in N9 to contour the nose. I'm going to use it to contour the middle of the cubic bow area and the chin, the sides of the chin as well. And then I'm going to blend. I'm using my Root Techniques brush to further blend out everywhere I've applied to this shade. I always like using a damp beauty blender, not too damp, but damp enough and that helps to literally help the product melt into the skin, like literally it helps it blend, blends all the products together and yeah, just look at how flawless the skin is looking. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Bondless Weight Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I'm going to be using that under the eyes and on the forehead area, the center of the nose, keep it bold. Uh, the chin, just literally the places where I would usually highlight. I'll put that there, just let it stay for a tiny bit. Now I'm applying like a lip balm on the lip. I'm using a lip balm with Vaseline actually. And then now I'm blending out the concealer. This is my small mini Root Technique sponge and this is damp as well. So I'm using that to blend. And now I'm setting it, setting the concealer. I'm using the Huda powder. This is the Huda Easy Bake powder and this is in the shade Canofa. I'm using that to set all the places I've highlighted on the face. 
uh, the forehead area, under the eyes, the tip of the nose, the center of the nose, cubic bow area and the chin. I'm just literally blending that, tapping it in nicely to blend it in. Now I'm going in with the Max Studio Fix Powder in NSW, I think it's NC45, yeah, NC45. I'm using that under the eyes, side of the nose, kind of the smile lines is kind of a bit, and I'm just using it to for the set the face. Now I'm going in with the MAC Skin Finish, uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I think this is in the shade Dark Deepest. I'm using a mixture of Dark Deepest and I went in between Dark Gold and Dark Deepest to kind of blend out the rest of the face. So the areas where I have not um, put in the highlighted shade, I'm just going in to further blend. Just to make sure those areas are set as well. I went in with a bit of NW4, NW50 as well, just a tiny bit, just to darken up the contour of the face and the high points of the face. And then I'm going into bronze. I'm going in with the Zulu palette. This is the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And I'm using that brown color there to bronze up the face. And now I'm using that palette as well for the blusher. I'm using it on the cheeks. So I'm using the orange one there and I'm using the pink together and I'm using it as a blusher for the cheek. Just like so. Love this palette. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. After the blusher, I'm going back in with the brown shade I used to bronze and just blend everything together. It's really nice, seamless and it has a very nice flawless look to it and gorgeous this is really lovely i'm still on the blusher still using the orange and the pink shade because i really love the look of a blush on the face it just gives a very nice look to the face and it's really the first color that leaves, so it's good to put enough so it doesn't come up quickly. And now I'm doing a bit of reverse contour. I'm using the MAC powder in Dark Golden to do a bit of reverse contour. I went in with an eyeliner from Primark, and I think that's the black eyeliner um, to smudge under the eyes. And then I went back in with the colors I used earlier on the lid, and I'm just smudging and kind of smoking out the under eye, just like so. After smudging under the eyes, I went in with my Morphe 39A palette and I've got this lovely shade, a shimmery shade, like a silver greenish shade and I put it in the tear dot area just to give a pop to this look. And now I'm fixing in the lashes, I think I got these lashes from Amazon and yeah, nice. I'm going to now go in to blend the reverse contour. I'm using my BH Cosmetics brush, this is the powder brush, I'm just using this to blend so there's no line of demarcation. On the reverse contour area i'm just taking off the powdery look from it so 
I'm just going to set the face with the Urban Decay All Night Till Setting Spray. I'm just going to take out the powdery look. And that's it. I'm going to now highlight with the MAC Highlighter. MAC Skin Finish Highlighter in the shade O Darling. I'm going to put this in the center of the nose, the cubicle area, and the high points of the cheek. Okay. Okay. Went in to kind of press the highlighter into the skin with the Dumb Beauty Blender and now I'm blending that in. I'm using the mascara. What mascara did I use? I used the ABH Lash Brag Mascara and I'm going in with my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Cup. I'm just going to line the lips. For a nude lip, I'm going to go back in with a concealer. I'm using Butterscotch, Too Faced Bond This Way Concealer in Butterscotch. I'm just going to put that in the middle of the lips like so. so and blend it out just to give a nice nude look to the lips. I'm going in with a blending brush to just blend it so there's no line anywhere and then I'm going to go in with my Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spicy, just a tiny bit in the middle of the lip. And then I'm going to blend that out. blending I'm gonna to proceed to gloss it up with the MAC lip gloss this is the MAC clear glass and this is yeah this is kind of mainly the look done I'm just blending out the lip glass with the bottom of the brush and that's it guys this is the finished look really turned up really nice i hope you found this video helpful or you learned a thing or two don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload i'll see you in my next one guys thanks bye